We are just under two weeks from BC's new short-term rental rules kicking in. May 1st, the regulations will change for 60 communities across the province. And the government says 17 more are opting in, even though they don't have to. Our Zara Premji joins us now with more. Zara, remind us, what is the purpose of all these new rules? Well, Dan, the government says the aim is to limit housing from being rented through sites like Airbnb and Expedia, among others, especially when it could be used for stable long-term homes in cities where people struggle to find appropriate housing. Now, the 17 communities that have just opted into the rules include Tofino, Bowen Island, Asuyus, and Pemberton. The regulations won't kick in there until November 1st. Here's how it'll work for everyone. A person uh, that has a home, let's say they have a basement suite, uh, they can have uh, the basement suite as a short-term rental uh, if they choose to. Uh, so it is principal residence with one unit. Uh, we don't want to see people buying up uh, homes that have uh, three units or four units and turning them into mini hotels. And he adds, if you're planning to stay in a short-term rental after May 1st, ask your hosts if they're following the new rules. Hosts and sites not doing so risk being fined up to $10,000. Kellon stresses renters will not have to pay those fines. Zara, 17 communities, as we mentioned, didn't have to take part, but they chose to opt in. Why is that? Well, there are quite a few reasons, but the mayor of Bowen Island tells CBC News it comes down to a few, including finding seasonal workers places to live, which he says has been very difficult. We don't have a lot of um, staff accommodation, so it all uh, happens in residential neighborhoods. So uh, workers, whether they're seasonal or even uh, local employees that, that staff our um, existing businesses, have been having an increasingly difficult time finding uh, uh, housing on the island. Now, Leonard says council needed to balance the ability for tourists to stay with workers' ability to find homes. Dan. Zara Premji, thanks very much.